two fellas are from Channel 2, and they want to know where the line is. Have you got it over there? Dick Davey has lived with his wife in Cooper Landing since the 1960s. And I just started building right after the earthquake. I figured if anyone would know about lions out here, he would. I don't think there's much of a chance if you want to know. I think somebody's been drink into the R&R. &R. <laughs> Yet the fishing game says in the last two weeks, five people have reported seeing a lion in Cooper Landing. One sighting was right here on Snug Harbor Road. And mountain lions don't have manes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Davy's friend, George Salitis, has also lived in these parts for years. Well, how many lions have you seen around here? None. Zero. <laughs> no, no lions. No. Who knows what lurks in the forests of the Kenai Peninsula, but biologists are pretty sure lions don't. The only native cat in this land is a lynx. 774. Cheryl James is a clerk at the general store in Cooper Landing. She says she thinks the people saw a lynx, just like her husband did not too long ago. Two Saturdays ago, he took a friend up the mountain to Cooper Lake, and they saw a lynx. He was right on the side of the road and didn't even move for the car and kind of chased him along a little bit. The fishing game says it's not taking the sightings too seriously. Neither are most of the residents around here. I saw it, I picked up the paper, and I laughed, and that's about the extent of my perusal of the paper. In Cooper Landing, Jason Moore, Channel 2 News. Not printable. Imagine trying to do your job with this crew in your office. Last couple of days, Edward, you've been jumping around too much. I want you to stay sat down. School bus drivers like Dan Merrigan face that challenge every day. I don't know uh, if the kids want the year to end more than the drivers or not. It's kind of touch and go. Everybody really is looking forward to summer vacation. Merrigan has been driving a school bus for seven years and seems to have learned the tricks of the trade. He was the 1994 Driver of the Year. Morning, man. Merrigan says he likes the job and it's a good match with his other occupation. He's also a college student halfway through a degree in elementary education. But he says not everyone is cut out to drive a school bus. There are drivers that have started to work down there that have just worked one day and just said, I can't do it that have just left the job after the first day. Arnold, is that you in the aisle? Out of the aisle, thank you. Merrigan says sticking to the rules is the key to cutting down on the chaos. Although the kids may rebel at first, they learn to appreciate that. And uh, the structure is, is um, kind of a, a positive thing for them once they get used to it. Morning, Sam. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye. It's a tough job, but Merrigan says it's not without rewards. I've seen a lot of children that, um, that are just reaching out for help. And, um, you know, if you can, if you can uh, change those kids a little bit and make it a little bit easier for them, um, it pretty much makes it worthwhile. Time to get an education. I get the most out of your day. Jennifer Arterburn, Channel 2 News. Yeah, at this distance, it's impossible to tell whether they're short build or long build. We had never been to Alaska quite this early in the year, so we decided to come up and take a look at the shorebirds. The only thing we could think of that it could possibly be was a lark bunting. You know, that, that's that's one of those virtual impossibility right. birds. Right. Burning's fun because, in part, it's a bit of a game to figure out what the different species are, and some of them look very similar, but actually they. They have subtle differences, and so there's a game aspect to it. There's some that are standing out as clearly black belly plumbers, and then the rest of them are kind of, it's a little far to tell for sure. I think that people have always had a fascination with flight, and that, that birds can fly, and we can, unless we have big machines. Well, we know. Oh, he's moved. What? Oh, Does it move this? Oh, oh there they go. Going. Maybe they'll circle around and come oh, back. Oh, gee. The majority of people are Anchorage people, and Homer people, uh, family people who come down here because they, they want to go to the beach, they want to do something with nature, they want to do something good for their kids. And they're not serious birders and they're not knowledgeable birders, but they'd like to know more. What I would like to do is find a couple of them that are a little bit more